everyone welcome to my channel my name is Ali I hope you're all doing well and are staying safe so uh, today I want to share a troll beads haul with all of you uh, this is from the Black Friday weekend uh, I bought this from troll beads South Hill they were running a promo um, on the troll beads website and as far as I know from all other stores here they were running a buy two get one free promo on specific beads but troll beads South South Hills was doing a buy two get one free on everything except for the last release and so um, I did pick up three beads in this promo and let me just open this baggie up and show you what I got and look at the cute little baggie that they've wrapped it in it has these gnomes uh, dressed in their Christmas finery and you have stars and bells and gifts and oh it's really pretty and then you do have the troll beads ribbon here and so yeah let me take uh, my box out of here there is a card and some candy and look at the little baggie with the candies with the snowflakes on them that is so cute and then my box is wrapped in this beautiful wrapping paper it is so beautiful i almost don't want to open this up or rip this apart but i really want to get into the beads that i got so let's go ahead and do that oh look at this wrapping paper it is so pretty but okay let's open this up and here is the box and i got these three beads and so oh gosh i'm so so excited about this you can tell that these are um from the flowers of the month series and i got three of them and um let me take them off of the ribbon and show them to you so this first one i got is the snowdrop of january and this is very pretty you have this little beautiful three petal snowdrop flower the pearl is right here and then you have the leaves kind of twisting and uh, holding the pearl and also making um uh, the space where your bracelet or bangle goes and so yeah it is very pretty I love this it's very delicate uh, the flower uh, itself because it's so tiny and small but the pearl that I have used in this one is a good size pearl because some of the flowers of the month have very tiny ones this one is a very good size pearl and yeah it is it's a beautiful beautiful flower and so that's the first one I picked next I got this one and this one is the violet of february and this one uh is a five petal flower one of the uh petals is really big actually all the petals are different sizes but there's one at the bottom that is a really big one um and then you have these two leaves here with some etching to show the vines on the leaves and there's another one over here and nestled between these two leaves you have a tiny little pearl so you see what i mean when they when i said that the pearl on the snowdrop is actually a quite a decent size so you can look at the size difference between the pearl on the snowdrop and then the pearl on the violet so yeah this one is a very good size this one is smaller but it's kind of hidden so I see why they did that so yeah you have the three leaves one two and three with the pearl hidden in there and then you also see a petal over here holding the pearl and then you have the flowers so this one is violet of february and then the third one that i got is this one and this is poppies of august and this one is a smaller flower of the month compared to some of them uh, this poppy has this four petal flower you have the center which has some oxidized detail on there there is a little bud over here uh, and then there's some leaves and between the bud the leaves and the bigger flower you have the little pearl nestled in there and then the back you see the the leaves and you see the stems which kind of wrap together to form um the opening for the bracelet and then here you can see the hallmarks it says 925s and then laa this is the other side 
and so yeah these are the three that i picked up from the buy two get one free promo that troll beats south hill had for black friday so violet of february snowdrop of january and poppies of august and guys with this purchase i have now collected all 12 flowers of the month which was a goal of mine it was a very big goal and i've finally done it and so i'm very very excited about it actually let me show you all my other flowers of the month and we can look at all of them together so here are all my flowers of the month um, with those three. Now I have 12 and my very first silver bead that I bought from Troll Beads was a flower of the month. The very first one that I bought was this one um, right over here. This one is Daffodil of March and March is my birth month and that's why I went for it. Daffodils are some of my favorite flowers and so this one is really special and this one is a big bead. It's kind of horizontal as opposed to a vertical bead but it is beautiful. You have these two daffodils with these uh, leaves wrapping around them and then you have the little pearl here. So that was my very first uh, silver bead and it has been my goal since I got this bead to eventually collect all of these flowers of the month and um, I started collecting troll beads in 2019 so it's taken me a few years to get here but as I said I'm really really excited for this. Uh, next one is this. This is the Daisy of April and this one is on the smaller side. You have these two daisy flowers, you have some leaves and then you have this pearl at the bottom. Uh, next I have uh, this. This is Buckthorn of May and again you have um, a bigger flower, uh, two bigger flowers and a slightly smaller flower. And then you have these leaves encasing uh, the pearl in there. This was my second flower of the month that I ever bought. This is Rose of June. And this one is probably one of the bigger um, flowers of the month out there. It is a big rose with lots of petals and, you know, it's in full bloom. It's a beautiful, beautiful bead. And then you have these leaves here. And then between the rose and the leaves, you have the hidden pearl in there. Uh, next, I have this. This is the water lily of July. And again, you have this many petaled lily. Almost looks like a lotus to me, but it's a water lily. And then you have the leaves over here, two of them. And then a little pearl almost looks like a bud. And so that is water lily of July. This next one is the bindweed of September and you have this one flower. It's really protruding. It kind of stands up. This is more of a vertical bead. And then you have the leaves here and here. And in between the bottom leaves, you have the pearl. Then we have the calendula of October. So you have a bigger flower here and then a smaller flower on the other side. In between the two flowers, you have these three leaves on one side. And on the other side, in between the leaves, you have the little pearl hidden in there. And then we have November. This is the chrysanthemum of November. This is again a bigger bead, kind of like the rose of June, but not as big. Um, this one, the pearl is not really hidden. It's front and center in the center of the chrysanthemum. And I really like this one, how they've used oxidation to make the leaves stand out, the outer petals, um, as opposed to the inner ones. The inner ones are shiny. The outer ones have this oxidation to them to make them stand out and kind of differentiate between the two layers. And at the back, you have these bunch of leaves. I, I love the side of the bead too. It's really pretty. And then the last one here is the Narcissus of December. Again, this is one of the bigger 
uh, beads and you have this beautiful five petal flower and then you have these leaves kind of wrapping around uh, coming up and then you have the hidden pearl right here so these are my flowers of the month and as i said there's nine of them here and when with these three i now have the whole set of 12 and i'm really really excited about this and here is my bracelet with all my flowers of the month on it i have been dreaming of this bracelet for so so long uh, to create this with all the flowers of the month i do have some white pearls and a couple of rosa pearls in here that i've interspersed in between the silver beads and then the clasp i'm using is this one this is the hidden beauty clasp so you have a couple of petals on this side and on the other side you have the pearl here so that's why I picked this one up because I wanted to play up on the pearls here and this bracelet is just so so beautiful guys I've as I said I've been dreaming of this for so long and I was finally able to create this and I don't know how I'm going to take this one apart but I'm really 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 looking forward to wearing this one so yeah this was my purchase from Troll Beats south hill from their buy two get one free for black friday and that helped me finish my flowers of the month collection let me know if you collect the flowers of the month or um, if you have a favorite amongst the 12 or if you only collect like special month ones like um, for your birthday or a loved one or a special occasion um, let me know what you think let me know which one is your favorite and yeah i'm really really excited about this but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider subscribing. And I'll see you in my next one. Stay safe, guys. Bye!